Today I'm showing you even more unique weapons in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, including my favourite of the bunch in this video, the Spinning Death. A ferocious death machine that explodes in balls of fire each time you heavy attack your enemies. And then you can follow up with essentially a stun locking light attack. Even the elites of the game don't seem to stand a chance against this, it's kind of crazy and game breaking to be honest. And let me know what your favourite weapon is in the comments so far. Who knows, it might even be in this video. But first, a word from today's sponsors, Dungeon Fighter Online, the ultimate fast-paced retro 2D beat-em-up, combined with a multiplayer RPG game. Delve into a fantasy adventure with an epic story and 16 diverse classes to choose from, with over 62 different class advancements. Like the new Awakening of the Male Priest character, you can dynamically customise your character's avatar with gear, die and outfits to give them a unique look, before blowing your enemies apart with dazzling hit effects and complex combo. Honestly this game is really easy to pick up, but very hard to master. And right now Dungeon Fighter Online is running a level up event to jumpstart your character to level 100, so you can unlock a full set of legendary gear, abyss gear and a 12 plus epic weapon. And use the coupon code on screen to grab a unique outfit for your character. So check out Dungeon Fighters Online, link below in the description right now. So first let's start out by getting Alias Bardish, which is a two-handed axe and this weapon is kind of ridiculous because if you're low on health it will actually make the weapon swing speed even faster. So basically it's a two-handed axe that swings faster than most one-handed weapons in the game, giving it the most damage per second of any two-handed weapon you can get. We're going to need to come all the way to the north of England here on the map where you'll find the city of Jorvik. You don't actually need to kill anyone here to get this weapon. You just need to come to the Jorvik Theatre, located in the southwest of the city. So here we are on the theatre's stage. Now if you turn to the right and just run over here, you'll find a breakable piece of wood. Go ahead and smash this and climb on through. We're going to find a hidden key here, which we'll need in just a moment. So make sure you collect this, then we can leave. Next you're going to run all the way to the other end. You can see there's a breakable barrier just over there on the right. Now we actually need to grab a fire pot to break through that. You can find it in the guards room just over here on the left. So pick one of these up and run on the way back. Then we can throw it at this and now we can get inside. Jump over here and smash all of these boxes out of the way and we can move this out of the way. Now we have the key for the door here. Now we have Alas Barbadich. Alas Bardish, once fully upgraded, will have a 142 attack, a speed of 40, a stun of 166, a critical chance of 83, and a weight of only 13. Next we're going to be grabbing the Feud Axe. It is a very powerful axe that increases critical damage the lower you are on health. And with an attack of 131 and a crit pre of 86 already, those crits are really going to hurt. So you just need to head east across the river to Forest's Rest, where the viewpoint is just over here. Now you can see this is a large temple and we're going to be able to find Feud's Axe inside here. So to grab this item, just go straight inside the temple. Once inside, just come around to the back here and there's kind of like a secret corridor with a bookshelf that we can actually move out the way. And then we can just climb over like so. And we can grab the key, which is just over here. So once you have the key, come back to this and you're gonna need to climb on top of it just up here. We'll be able to smash through this and we now have the key to unlock the chest which will reward you with Fjord's axe. For our third item we're going to grab Spinning Death. Heavy finisher hits have a chance to drop a firebomb which is absolutely hilariously fun. Once again from Forest Rest we're going to go just north to the trading post literally right in front of us. Pretty much as soon as you leave this building after grabbing that axe you're going to come over here. Lol, what the hell? And then you're going to use this to get to the roof and we can find a secret weapon inside. Now there are a fair few enemies here 
You can pretty easily just assassinate all of them though. Like so. And we can use this. And once everyone is dead, you can go ahead and access this room over here. Inside, you will find yet another treasure chest, which has the spinning death. Arguably one of the best flails in the game, in fact. This is the spinning death. And once fully upgraded, it will have an attack of 128, a speed of 46, a stun of 156, a critical chance of 82, and only a weight of 7. Now, the unique perk of this weapon is that heavy finisher hits have a chance to drop a firebomb. That chance is 40%. The cooldown of it is 15 seconds, so it, it's kind of funny once you get this thing popping. Next up, the fourth weapon on the list, the Sagittarius Bow. Fully upgraded, this weapon looks really cool. It looks pretty damn high tech, like it belongs in the modern age in fact. It has an attack damage of 124, a speed of 39, a stun of 142, critical chance of 97, headshot damage is 83, and it has a weight of 11. Now the perk on this weapon increases the speed when hitting weak points, which actually makes this weapon insanely fast. You can literally pelt enemies weak points with arrows very rapidly. We're going to want to come to the north of Jorvik, just here on the map. You're going to want to come just here on the map to the Multangular Tower. See, we're pretty much on the edge of the city walls just here. And you're going to see a long drop all the way to the bottom. I recommend shooting an arrow at those guys below before just jumping down to the bottom here. And then go ahead and run through this door. You can literally ignore the enemies because probably not going to follow you down here. Just keep running down the corridor until you get to this room and on your left you'll see two enemies standing right next to each other. Shoot those explosive barrels to kill them and then you can go ahead and run inside this room. Come to the left here and push this giant barrier. You can smash open this wall here. There's going to be a bunch of snakes to kill. So pick up one of these explosive pots and then run back outside and head left. You see there's another barrier we can destroy with the pot, like so. And then head to the end of this very long corridor. You'll now see there's another explodable barrier just there. Go to the right and we're going to need to grab another one of these exploding lanterns. Then we can just hop around the edges here to get to our destination. You've got to take that specific path, otherwise you can't make the jump. And then once again, boom. Once it's destroyed, you can then jump into the water here. We're gonna to have to dive underwater. You'll find a secret passage underneath here that you can swim through all the way to the other side. And just slide under this hole and we are here in the secret armor room. As soon as we move this barrier out the way, which will reveal our final explosive door. And we can go ahead and access this if we grab one of these hidden explosive pots, throw it below. Guards here are vigilant. And here we are in the treasury room. This is going to net you the Sagittarius Bow, probably one of the most difficult sort of items to solve the puzzle to grab. Anyway guys, that is it for today's video, but I've got a whole playlist of videos like this one linked down below in the description. If you want to stay up to date with my content, subscribe with the bell notification icon. Thanks for the likes, thanks for the support, and I will see you soon. Have a fantastic day guys.